Good morning, Vietnam. I'm Greg Alba. I'm John Humphrey. We are going to watch the trailer for Fantastic Beast: The Crimes of Grindelwald. The adventure continues. This trailer is a TV spot slash feature. Red got quite a few requests for it, so I says yes. I really got to rewatch the first one before this one comes out. You mean you don't remember a lot of it? Uh, yeah, it's, it's connected to Harry Potter. Yeah. <laughs> Before we do that, I want to say thank you to everyone who has been following us on Patreon, yo. Been getting so many pledges lately. I'm so grateful for it. Over there, we do weekly Q&As, and those are a lot of fun to shoot, as well as many a TV show reaction that includes Attack on Titan, My Hero Academia, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, Supernatural, Gotham, and Riverdale. There's also some completed shows on there already. If you want to go check out those watch-alongs, Go to our Patreon. Anywho, let's hop into this. Grindelwald's been in jail in New York for a few months. The decision is made to move him back to Europe, where he has to answer for the crimes that he has committed. Never noticed the blue. <laughs> he escapes. Credence survives. And for Credence, the big question now is... I want to know who I am. Ah. The path has been laid. <laughs> he is following him. The trail that will lead him to me. The reason everyone goes to Paris, mm. really, is Credence. Credence may not know who he is yet, but he needs to be found. Oh. I'd rather hope you might be the one to find him. Dumbledore has to oh. be to try and stop <laughs> Grindelwald's rise. Dumbledore. There is a new huh. threat as Grindelwald mobilizes. He's a master manipulator, and that is why he is so dangerous. Oh, that's a war. Everyone's choosing sides. Things are becoming much more dark and complicated, and people's allegiances are now being exposed. Yeah. You must rise up and take our rightful place in the world. We're now getting into the meat of the story, and everything gets darker and nice. more intricate. Whatever yeah. you think you know at the end of the movie might not be the case. Huh. I didn't get any of that Credence stuff from the trailer. <laughs> no, I mean, what it, what it sounds like to me is that they're trying to get to Grindelwald before Grindelwald gets, gets to, to Credence. Credence yeah. The trailers have kind of made it seem like it's all about getting Grindelwald and Credence is back somewhere. <laughs> yeah, 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 he's just in this movie. Yeah. <laughs> Remembering the first Fantastic Beast, Credence was like a really important part. wasn't in it throughout, but he was a major threat. This actually makes sense. It really is strongly connected to the first one. And of course, I, I knew that from the beginning to know that Credence is important. Because, like, just seeing the expansion of some scenes and dialogue, like, even when Jude Law and um, uh, uh, Stephen Hawking are talking to each other, and they're... <laughs> a newt. Newt Scamander. When they're talking with each other, I'm like, oh, there's this whole line about Credence that's kind of left out of the other trailers, but they show that scene, and they just made this manipulated it to make it look like they're talking about Grindelwald. Yeah. Which I'm, I'm sure like, they're talking about both. There's a safe house in London, and now I'm like, there's a whole other context to that scene. Yeah. Now he's probably got to get Credence to that safe house. At first, I thought it was like, oh, Newt. Go hide yeah. out. <laughs> For as much controversy as there is surrounding Johnny Depp, it certainly looks like he's show like every shot they show looks like he's showing up for this movie. I think he's gonna be a scene stealer. Really? Yeah, I, I do. <laughs> I do. If I, if I, he's just been waiting to get his hands on some Potter action. I, I well, it does. He doesn't look over the top, nor no. does he look no. like he's not trying. He <laughs> yeah. Looks, yeah, pretty yeah. sinister. Even though this trailer led me to go, oh, maybe he's not the main thing about it. It's a main part, but it seems like this is so much about credence now of what was established from the first Fantastic Beast leading into here. Even that scene where he's talking to a crowd of people, like that, this trailer was making it even clearer. I think. We should stop on the trailers, by the way. But it's, yeah, <laughs> he's the last one. What? Um, it's like nice to get a little bit cleared up, but yeah. now I would like to maintain the rest of the mystery. <laughs> if there's one thing I can gather from J.K. Rowling, I think she said it's going to be darker. Things are becoming much more dark. What? You don't say. Everything gets darker. Yeah, it, darker than the earlier Harry Potter films, and, and darker than the last one. Wow. I mean, I, I think she said darker. But who knows? I Comment mean, below. this is probably the Empire Strikes Back of Fantastic Beasts. 
Yeah. <laughs> this yeah. is probably the Wrath of Khan of Fantastic, Fantastic Beasts. Beast. This is probably the Dark Knight of Fantastic, Fantastic Beasts. Beast. Oh, I can't wait for what the Dark Knight Rises of Fantastic Beasts might look like. Yeah, it'll be slightly disappointing. <laughs> slightly <laughs> disappointing, but still ambitious enough to appreciate. Yeah. Yeah. Getting a, a clear sense of that they're talking about a war is brewing, talking about the different allegiances, more than just seeing Grindelwald saying like cool lines and maybe <laughs> having a cool little gang. It seems like he will kind of have have an army on his side when he's talking to that group of people i never really read much into that scene but when he's talking to that large group of people and finding out that there's probably some characters who will be coming back from the first one this like is why it's important to rewatch them like coming back from the first one who might actually have a hidden allegiance to grindelwald i'm guessing Okay. That's going to be Newt Commander's brother. He will be one of the reveals because Ooh. he wasn't in the first one. So I imagine that'll probably be a big deal in here. He doing all that time. That's my guess. I know it's an obvious twist, but I don't think this movie will surprise me with not having that twist. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And I guess the only other thing I, I am wondering now is like, what is going to really separate this from Harry Potter as its own thing? Because, you know, part of me worries like, is Grindelwald just going to become other Voldemort? We have a lot of similar quandaries for the character characters to figure out about mm. allegiances and you know dark wizardry versus light wizardry and you know i don't know how muggles figure in all this stuff because now we're in uncharted territory and fantastic beasts as a book is literally an encyclopedia and none of this is <laughs> having her writing this movie intrigues me because it seems like well, she wrote the last one yeah 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 and i liked the aesthetic like i liked the last one but it didn't like leave a heavy impact on me from a story perspective i thought a lot of the characters a lot of the set pieces some of the ideas did overall you know this seems like a weightier version and now i just you know hope that it's fresh as well because i've seen wizarding war before i have a prediction that most of the beasts from his briefcase are oh. gonna die oh really yeah, I think Ooh. in order to make this franchise work and this tale they are telling, because they want to do like five of these or something, or like set, like some crazy amount of, of movies, you know, for um, some prequel <laughs> just a franchise. We took the last script and then we broke it in half into two. <laughs> I think that it has to get more personal rather than just intriguing because, uh. I mean, you brought up Voldemort and a big part of what made that work was the personal tie it has to Harry Potter yeah. in terms of Voldemort killed Harry's parents. So you got this buildup of them finally having a lackluster duel in the last movie. <laughs> 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 but you still have that buildup and that intrigue. I don't think they'll kill off Grindelwald in this movie. I don't know what the contract is that Johnny Depp has for this movie. I'm sure you guys probably know if he signed on for like 18 movies or whatever. <laughs> um, by the way, to see I am into the other films. There's got to be a Twitter yeah. account that just tracks people's contracts. There has to be. I think this might end in a way to where he won't need to come back. He can just be Colin Farrell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Just bring him back. Off. Just bring him back. <laughs> Create this never-ending cycle, and then for the fourth <laughs> movie, they'll be like, "He's Johnny Depp again." Yeah. <laughs> and you know, we can do that for <laughs> seven more movies. The main thing that these trailers have given me, because you're like, I'm a big Harry Potter fan. I grew up on this stuff, and the one thing that never fails about these Fantastic Beast trailers is just the striking images, like that moment with all those like shrouds floating up. I think the one thing that that keeps me excited about a Harry Potter cinema universe yeah is the aesthetics of the world it's like even if there's a lackluster story and i feel like this is a world that i just like to spend time in so i've always got that to look forward to and, and seeing some of the images in this trailer i can't imagine that that stuff will not be super satisfying you know what image really stood out to me in this trailer which image jk rattling's eyeballs Blue eyes <laughs> I've i don't think i've ever noticed just how strong is she wearing contacts or did they like punch up her eyes her her eyes are like strikingly blue here and i don't remember interviews i've seen with her but man like here it's, they, it's, it's like out of the ocean <laughs> they do that in, I, don't, I don't know if they did that here but they do that in post-production where they will enhance people's eyes like they'll make them brighter and yeah. stuff and in, in lesser movies you'll see people have like glowing whites and stuff yeah man she looks well, hot too she's she keeping hot. it together yeah she's, for like what is she like 69 <laughs> how old is she I, i'm not sure but i could imagine her being I, in the 50s I, I, or 60s. i'm just saying that to upset you you, you, guess you, you, you book you book worms 50s. i'm just saying that she's not 69 <laughs> <laughs> is it the only age you could think of how could you guess that <laughs> yeah that's my that was my real guess <laughs> yeah i don't think she's 69 i would be very surprised if she is 
Well done. What's your secret? Well, she's 69. That's her secret. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it's you're appreciating that comment there, Bookworms. <laughs> J.K. Rowling age. <laughs> she's 53. Yeah, okay. 50s, that makes sense. Yeah, no, it's hot. I thought she was hotter when I thought she was in her 60s. Hey, man, you're, you're just a fine wine kind of guy. <laughs> Sorry, I'll stop. Listen, before we wrap this up, I want to give a quick shout out to a man named Kurt Anderson. Kurt Anderson, we've shouted out before. I haven't talked to you in like a little over a month, buddy. I'm kind of concerned at this point because I wanted you to let me know how the surgery went. This guy travels the world. He's a nomad. He had some incident where he had a really bad rupture yeah. in his ear. And then he showed me a video of the surgery they were going to do, which was, I appreciate you sending that. We recorded that was, a reaction that was, that was to beautiful. it. That was beautiful. That was not. <laughs> like ugh, at all you were like i've defeated cancer this will be nothing i haven't heard from you i think i saw a comment on one of our youtube videos this week i'm assuming you can hear us i'm assuming you can see us i'm assuming you're fine but i would like a message to confirm that please kurt yeah once you're done in the infirmary once madam pomfrey's done fixing you up references Harry Lord Potter. of the Harry Potter. So it's, uh, the, the Chronicles of Narnia. <laughs> <laughs> Miss you, Kurt. Shoot me a message, bud. Guys, you can subscribe to the Reject Nation. Please click that notification bell. You know why. And check us out on Patreon. We got TV show reactions, Q and A's. John does music video coverage. I occasionally guest star on those. Yeah, we got plenty of goodies. Check us out. I like.